I'm going to be coming to you out of Luke 6 and 27. Please say amen when you have it. Luke 6 and 27. I woke up this morning with my mom. But I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you, and unto him that smiteth, unto him that smiteth thee on one cheek, offer also the other, and him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy cloak also. Give to every man that asks of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. Amen? Amen. Amen. When I read this scripture, this tells me that there is no excuse for my actions. Amen? Because the word of God says, bless those that hate you. Amen. Do good to those that despitefully misuse you. So, once you get to a level in Christ where... You know, maybe you're not fornicating or you're not doing this or you're not doing that. We still have things to work on because how it's easy to love somebody that loves you. But the real test and trial comes when you have to love those that you know don't like you, that you know hate you, that constantly do you wrong, and you still have to show love. Why? Because the word of God says to show love. God still shows us love when we do what he don't want us to do every day. Amen. 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 So we can't, I can't say, I'm talking to myself especially, Today, I went through a lot yesterday, and today I'm like, I need to talk to myself. Amen? Amen. So, if I go through what I went through yesterday, afterwards, I'm like, dang, what did I do wrong? You know? God said, stop blaming everyone else. What could have you, what could have you done? to change the situation, to make it differently. Because the situation didn't change until I submitted, left the situation, and got down on my knees and prayed and cried out to God. The situation only got worse because I was trying to do it my own way. Yeah. My own way. So I'm using my words. And the Bible says, your many words is not going to change them. Your words aren't going to do anything. Right. Your words is like a fire. It, you light it and, it and it just goes. Right. Not only is it going to light your flame and your fire, it's going to light everybody's flame. Because when one person gets irritated, everybody can feel the irritation. And then that spirit going to jump around. And then the whole house, right. the whole church, the whole community, the whole world is irritated. Amen? Amen. Amen. Everybody will walk around with a smile. We'll have a community walking around smiling because usually when somebody smiles at you, your first instinct is to smile back. Amen? Even when you don't feel like smiling. Why is this person so happy? You write, I am alive. You write, I am breathing. You write, there is a God. There is a reason for me to smile. I don't have to walk around with an attitude. We're both black. We both have two feet. God loves us the same. He white, I'm black, 
we go ahead and prepare for the job. I have God on my side. God bless his hands. Red, black, yellow, green, yellow. Amen. We can't look at things as a flesh. The devil constantly try to put our minds on what's wrong, what they did to you, what she doing to you, what he said, what she said. But what are you doing? What am I doing? Are your intentions really right? Bless those that curse you. Bless them. Give them this. You give somebody a gift and you know that for you. That you they know? You know? They don't like you? How could they not like you? Amen? Give them a hug. Tell them God loves you. I love you. It's not that bad. What are we really mad about? Amen. 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 Because if God held a grudge, oh my God. Uh oh. <laughs> it will be going down if God held a grudge. Amen? Amen. So we are left without excuse because although there is only ten, the first ten commandments we know about, it's a whole other list in the Bible that tells us what to do and what not to do. Amen? Amen. I personally have to work on my words. Oh my God. It's like. Man, I could, it's easy to do a lot of other things right now, but my mouth, I can't take it. It just boils inside of me, and I'm praying for God to help me with this situation. Amen? So I need everybody to just continue to pray for me, because in the Word it says, I'm going to always be single, because better to dwell in the corner of a rooftop than with a blowing woman. Amen? Jesus, Jesus, that dread train, that's not going to get you where you got to go. 
And they had a say that that man is not going to make him marry you. It's not going to make him treat you right. Amen. 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 is not going to keep him. Amen. Amen. It ain't going to happen. Amen. The only thing that's going to work is prayer. Prayer changes things. Pray about it. Be about it. Pray about it. Amen. 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 Now, when we tell the people, when the, um, God came back and told the prisoners that's not what it is, what did the prisoners do? After they find out that that ain't all what it is, they're angry. And then that person who's telling them the way, the truth, and the light happens to get angry and be like, God, you're so stupid. They don't get away and they don't turn on him. Whether he's right or whether he's wrong. And we don't get in love, we're going to get turned on. And no one's going to get saved. Amen? And then they all are in the cave fight. Probably come back and get caved back up again. Nobody's free now. Y'all gonna keep seeing them images. And say, getting up off the cave together. Amen. Come on. Then. To the light. Amen. Amen. Cutting more trees. Oh, that was the tree? Is this how we take care of this? Is this how we do that? Because sitting up in the cave arguing, in the dark arguing, what we gonna get accomplished? Amen. Nothing. Get it together and get it right. Shut up. I need to shut up and get on my knees, everybody, and pray. So that's the only thing I don't want. Who has the power? God has the power, right? Amen. Jesus died on the cross. Wow. So I saw him on the cross, went to hell, took the key, came back up on the third day with all power in the church.